treasure seekers and fortune finders. How is everybody today? We are happy. We are having fun. We are doing some work. What are we doing today? We are nicodating dateless buffalo nickels. Why is that, you say? I bought my son a cheap book, and I wanted to fill him a book. Now, giving filling a book is hard enough. But this is going to be probably my cheapest, most prominent way to fill a book. So we got him a book and a few bags of nickels, dateless per se. Now, the majority I bought was all P or all DNS mints. Why? The P's are generally easy, easy to find and they're less expensive. Most of your Philly Mint Marks have higher mints to them. And all of your key dates and semi-key dates are Denver and San Francisco. With the big one being the 1913S Top 2 Buffalo Nickel. Did I ever expect to find one of those? No, I never expect to find a Top 2 with only 1.2 million minutes. So, we're going to be nicodating a few. When we come back, I have a major surprise for everybody. Wasn't going to do a video. This is for me and my son to have fun. This wasn't for a video, but wait. As Billy May says, there's more. So, guys, just wait till you check this out. See what we've found. We'll do a few of these on camera afterwards, but I've got something to major to show you. All right, guys, we'll be back shortly. All right, guys, we are back. This is the surprise. So far, done really, really well. Yet again, the major key date in the Buffalo Nickels is the 1913S Type 2. So, yet again, I wasn't going to do a video until... That's right, everybody. There it is. There it is. The 1913 and I'm not sure, there it is, 1913S. Now, the difference in the top two and the top one is the top two has a, the top one has a raised ground. The top two has the flat normal ground. This is a top two. Absolutely amazing. And I did buy this off of a roll from a Facebook group. Look at that, everybody. Type 2 she is. And I know it's going to be hard to catch the date. There it is. The 1913 Type 2. And unfortunately, I got the acid a little farther than I would have liked. But it definitely is the 1913 Type 2. A key date in the Buffalo Nickel series. The only key date. Now, what does this coin go for? In one condition, the lowest condition it could be, the PCGS website has this listed as a $100 coin. Now, that is before they're acid dated. This is a restored date. Which drops this coin's value at least by half, if not more. I'm seeing them on eBay go from 35 bucks to 55 and up. This one, I would say, would be a $30 coin. But guys, this is just something you don't see. That is absolutely amazing. My son has a Buffalo Nickel book, and he has the key date. Oh! This is why we do what we do. Guys, I hate the stress of how amazing this is. This just doesn't happen. So, for one, one day we will definitely be able to fill this book. Like I said, I wanted to do acid dates with them because just to buy this coin in poor condition, poor one, is minimum 100 bucks. When you go getting up into... G4 and VGA, you really run into some money. So to have this coin in this book 
for my son. Callum, what do you think? Tell them what you think. I think it's awesome because because me and my brother get into coins a lot. And I we have a mayo. We like doing this. I have a mayo. Well, if they wouldn't talk all together, but there you go, everybody. We think this is awesome. So when we come back, we're going to nicodate a few. I'm not going to keep you too long. I just can't believe this. So we'll be back soon, everybody. All right, guys, we are back. We've got our bottle of Nicodate. We've got three no-date buffalo nickels. And just to show you, these are war slick. Here we have a Philly Mint. Another San Francisco Mint. And a Denver Mint. So we have the best of all three. Now, warning, everybody, if you're going to do this, this is fun, and these can run into some money. On eBay, you're looking at for rolls of DNS, 25 bucks plus for a roll. This is acid. Gloves, hand protection. Just because I'm being stupid, don't mean y'all need to be. This can hurt you. So, fair warning. It is acid. It does actually eat the nickel away. So it will also eat the skin away. I would like to say I'm very cautious and never get, get it on me, but that's just not the case. There is times, as y'all can see here, I had a spill, and I've got a little blister on my finger from it. But I can't handle it with the gloves. Just because I'm stupid doesn't mean y'all need to be. Gloves, protection, everybody. So, let's date a few of these and see what we got. And I'd like to say that you're not going to get a date off of every coin you do. There's going to be some that you'll never get a date off of. Fortunately, I haven't run into that problem with this lot very much at all. And as y'all can see, just the tiniest little drop here does exactly what you're wanting it to do. You don't need to do the whole coin. Try to keep it centralized to a very, very small area. So let's pick this one up right here. Just to show you. We've already got a date coming through there. And it looks like a 1920. So what we'll do is leave it set just for a minute. This stuff works fairly quick, everybody. I'll take the coins and I'll rinse them. I have some warm water set here, rinse them in, and then I just pat dry. Nineteen twenty. Date come off great on that one. Looks like we've got another date here. What have we got? Did we get another nineteen twenty? It looks like it. We got another nineteen twenty. Now, I know as of right now, it's hard for y'all to tell the date or me to catch it on my phone, but that's a pretty prominent 1920. Let's see if we got a date on the third one. What do we have? Look here, everybody. 1916. Now, this is the fun part of Buffalo Nickel. So, as y'all can see, those dates come out really good. That's basically what you're looking at when you're acid dating. Now, I will go back over. Like This one is just perfectly fine with me. That showed up extremely well. We got a 1920 Philly. We have a 1920 San Francisco. And then a 1916 Denver. Now, on this San Francisco here, I will do it just a touch hair again. Try to keep from getting too long just to pull that date out just a tad better. And I got really heavy on my naked date. See it coming through there? Ain't that so cool? Great way to start a book, especially 
if you haven't got a lot of money and you're looking for key dates and semi-key dates, guys, it does happen. Given not a lot, but it does happen. Right there, 1920, see how great that come out? So awesome, very happy with that, everybody. Just thought I'd show y'all this. I wasn't planning on doing a video on this at all, but like I said, we got the big one. 1913S. And if you leave this nickadate on these nickels too long, you actually end up losing the date, not gaining it. So there we go, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed this. Me and my sons are extremely excited. I still can't believe we found a key date in the Buffalo Nichols through an acid date. So guys, I'm going to shut this down. Didn't mean to take his time. I just got so excited and I wanted to share it with all y'all. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Until the next adventure, everybody, may your pans be full, your smiles be golden, your clouds be silver lined, and your pennies be copper. We'll see you on the next adventure, treasure seekers.